Good morning, people of God or kings and queens or whoever that may pop on this video. I uh, just want to come and talk to you regarding uh, God is using Trump. God is using Trump and he will be back in office in the next election. God is using Trump. He's bringing back, he's using Trump, which is I call an evil king. Uh, he's bringing him back to, to bring back the Bible or bring back Christian values, to bring back uh, uh, the love we need, to, uh, even though Trump might not show a lot of love in the past and a lot of lo love that he didn't show and a lot of things I don't agree with what he done in the past, but God is using Trump just like God used the evil kings. He used several evil kings in the book, in the Bible, in his book that he used to turn uh, good, to turn to, to, to help the Israelites in the Bible. So we're seeing it in today's time in 2024 that God is using Trump to bring uh, back the Bible values and the Bible uh, base and, and reading of scriptures and and, and love because look what Biden brought. Biden brought bought the LGT. He brought uh, homosexuality and lesbian and he brought all the drag queens and all that. He came right behind Obama and he came, he brought it hard and he brought it and made laws for men can go into the stalls and, and see, but see my God know what to do. He's putting a big twist on, he bringing somebody that's bold. See, that's one thing I like about Trump. He's bold and God is bringing him to use him to bring back the Christian values uh, in this country, to bring uh, uh, the Bible. Even though some people laugh and say, oh, he just, he just making, he just making this up just to get in the white house. No, God is using Trump. And if you watch Trump's full video on a lot of things, he talked about also, uh, uh, he talked about who the true people is. The black people uh, is the true people of God. They're the true Israelites. He spoke that uh, on his video. So you need to go find that video. God is using Trump. So he's bringing him back to bring the Bible base back the, the next four years. And see, this is the last goal in, in this world. I believe this is the last goal, the last ch chance God is trying to turn this world back around so people can repent. And even the atheists might want to come around and repent because, see, we're in the end time. See, the, God, this is the last go around. So he's using Trump. He's using the evil king once again, like he used the evil kings in the Bible. He's using Trump to bring back the Bible base in, in, in America, which the way it should be. And, and to and to love and to read the scriptures and and it will calm down a lot of this uh homosexuality he's going to throw a lot of that away he's going to come against all those laws he's going to change the laws back to the way god wanted and see that's what i love about trump he never liked abortion he didn't he did have good standards when he was in the white house even though i don't like what he say and a lot of things he did but he did have value, values that he didn't care about the LGD. He he, she, he didn't care about the lesbian and homosexualities and bringing it forth and 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 drag queens in the schools and teaching. He didn't believe in that. He still don't believe in it today. But I'm glad God has chosen him, which he's another king, evil king, that he's using Trump to bring back the law, bring back Christ, bring back the Bible, bring it back so we can all agree and get into the word. Because that's what God does. He used something that some people think he's not going to use. See, our ways are not God's ways. And our thoughts is not God's thoughts. See, I see what God doing in the spirit. He using Trump. Yes, Trump is not uh, the, the best. But you know what? He's using Trump. And Trump is brave and brave enough to do it. And that's what I love about Trump. He's braver than all the other presidents. That's one thing why they hate Trump. Because Trump do stand alone when it comes to him saying uh, bold things. And he can come against or he can agree. But I believe God is using Trump this hour and he will in the spirit. God has showed me Trump will be in, a, in the uh, White House for the next four years and things going to get better. Going to take away all this homosexualities and these rules and laws that, that, that Biden has passed and Biden is going to be no more. So also um, God is showing me that Biden might not be no more alive. That's all I have to say and I can't say about that. But I know in the spirit, God is using Trump. He is using him to bring back the Bible. And a lot of people say, well, he's selling a $60 Bible. Well, you know what? That's good. Let people read it. He's doing what God is, is, is anointing him to do. See, God anointed the evil king in the Bible. And uh, I can't think of the name, but he, 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 he anointed several kings and used them to, to do his will to help the Israelites, to help the people of God. So now he's doing it in our time. He's using it to help the people of God, whoever believe in Jesus. He's using it, using it to bring back the Bible Bible you know, in the laws and statues in for people to read and, and, to, and that will calm down the earth 
and would make people turn back and come back. And it was going to be a, a, a big turnaround for some people to give their life to Christ and, and, and for these fake Christians to turn around too, uh, if they will, and to repent and the people to repent and the atheists to repent to come to God. So God know what he's doing when he's using Trump. He's using Trump. Uh, once again, he's using an evil king. He's using Trump to bring back and to use him to do his will for America. Uh, right now, everybody might not turn around, but that's the wicked. And God is coming for the wicked because what's coming by the end of this year, um, this fall, is going to be another pandemic and God is going to destroy. He's going to destroy the wicked that still don't want to, 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 to repent and to, to, to do right. And the Christians that don't want to repent because he sees coming for the church first. This sickness is coming. Yeah, it's a sickness. It's some type of skin disease. But you know, God knows what he's doing. He did it in the Bible. He's going to do it today. He's allowing the wickedness to come. But yes, he's going to destroy the wicked too. But see, God is allowing it. But if you're in God, people could be dying on the left. People can be dying on the right of you. But you will be still standing while you be still standing with God. It says, be still and know that I am God. And another thing, when it comes to this new sickness, skin disease that's coming, it's going to be worldwide. There's going to be another shutdown in the world. God said, lemon, citrus, oranges, mainly lemon, is what you need to fight off this, this bacteria, this skin disease, to keep your, your flesh to keep your uh, uh, your human body uh, to fight up against it, okay? So buy lemons uh, or just use the seeds out of lemon to continue to grow lemons. You can grow lemons in a pot. Look up a tutorial on how to, uh, to, to raise lemons. It's easy. I was looking at some earlier or yesterday. So lemon is, is the healer. And, and really, the food is the healing. He's the healer here on earth, not these medicines. Now, some of these medicines are good, like antibiotics, but all this new stuff, new age stuff, this stuff is nothing. It got a lot of poison in it, and it's to poison you to, to, to kill you slowly, all right? But I just want to come with this quick video. God is using Trump, and, and get ready and stock up on water. Like I say, and get lemons and begin to raise lemons. You can raise lemons on your patio. Just get a pot in a box. And look at the tutorial on YouTube. It tells you lemon is a, it will be the healer for this, this skin disease. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be worse, worse than before. It's going to be another shutdown. So also open up you some businesses where you can work from home. Therefore, when a shutdown come, you will be safe. You will be uh, uh, at home making money, you and your family. And God is going to protect his own. I just want to tell you, it might be a little fearful, but guess what? God is going to protect his own. Who is his own? The own, his own is people who believe and repent, live a repentance life and read the word of God and, and cry out to God and, and pray to God and, 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 and just live peacefully. I'm not saying you're not going to sin or say nothing wrong or think nothing wrong. We're always going to sin, but we always have to repent right after the sin. But you must do these things. You must fast in this hour too. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Fast in this hour. If you can give God an uh, hour for fasting, and I know a lot of you can't do days, give him an hour. Take it to God and praise the Lord. I can't give you a day, but I can I can give you uh, two hours. I might give you an hour of fasting. I want to bring this up unto you. You got to take it to God and talk to him. Just like when the Israelites back then, and they have to sacrifice a lamb and take it to God. And we have to take it to God because Jesus didn't say, uh, he didn't say, um, uh, we, he said, when we, he said, he didn't say if we fast, he said, when we fast. So when that means we, that's a thing we must do again. He didn't say if we fast, he, Jesus said in his word, when we fast, we must fast to fight this battle. We must fast to fight the demonic realm because see the demonic realm is so real. And we have to pray in the Holy spirit, pray and be like, Lord, send fire to this the demonic realm. That's what I do. Send fire to it and, pr and protect me from the attacks that's coming because see there's witches and warlocks on these, these, these devices on these channels. There's so many witches on TikTok. I have to, and they try to follow me and I have to block them and bind them, loose them down to those bits and rebuke them. All on, the, on these platforms, they be trying to follow and trying to pass curses on me, but it don't it don't work because my God, I'm in my God, and you got to be the same way. Get into the Holy Spirit, get into God. All right, I love you. Just want to bring you this quick video. God is using Trump. He can use anything. If he can make a donkey talk, he can use anything. All right, stay blessed, and I'll see you soon.